Yes, uh, good morning to you and I hope you're having a fantastic uh, Monday morning. My name is Awayiwa Kemathi and this is Bez Radio, your number one audio visual radio station, Mwanzo wa Burudani. And of course, this is a Bez Baraza show. As we get down to the political world, what is happening? Why is it happening? And what can you do about it? And of course, there is, this is 31st of October. Mwisho wa mwezi umefika. You know, it's only two months. And we'll be saying welcome 2023. How has the year been for you? We start having that conversation. But I hope you're having a fantastic end of the month. Very first of October. It's 11.32. And I'm going straight to the main conversation of the day. And I'm asking this question. Has the prices of unga and gas re reduced in your area? Talk to me and tell me. Talk to me and tell me. Kama pale ukienda kwa muuzaji wako wa unga kwa duka ama super, has the prices reduced? And if they have, ni brand gani hiyo? If unga is not at 230, is it jogo pembe? Talk to me and tell me that. Uh, yesterday there was the Thanksgiving ceremony in Muranga County. It was actually happening in a place called Karigoine. If I actually know that, it's because I went to school there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the deputy president of Kenya got to say that uh, now the prices of uh, es essential commodities, there is gas and unga, have started going down. And that way, I'm asking you, Kwenye uko, has the prices uh, imepungua ama because I'm not uh, receiving the same comment hapa. Things look a bit different, you know. And just the other day, on 25th of uh, October, the president of Kenya, he said that we give him one year to ensure that the prices of goods and especially essential commodities like unga, they have gone down. Down, we mean you can buy and get 100 shillings. We give them one year. Talk to me and tell me. After the prices to reduce to 168, from 230 to 168, in your area kwenye nyeuko sai. Uneza niambia bei ya unga imeshuka ama how are things kwa ground? Very good morning and welcome. This is Bez Radio Manzo. Talk to me and tell me. And of course, sorry for that small technical issues. And away from that, I just be giving a highlight on what is happening. Especially... After CSs have managed to become, now they are the current CSs, which means they are vacant seats for MPs, senators. Kipchumba Murkomen was a senator in El Geo Marakwait. Now the seat is vacant. We are now set for a by-election in January. Places like Kandara in Moranga County, Alice Wahome, after becoming the CS in sanitation, the city is vacant, which means campaigns are ongoing. And talking about campaigns are ongoing, I'm looking at Kandara uh, co uh, constituency where the, uh, the, I'm talking about uh, someone was vying for the seat of women rep in the whole of Moranga County but now has narrowed down to vie for the seat of MP in Kandara constituency. That is what is happening. Now that the by-election is bound to happen in January, and in some places you're going to be vying. Look at township where Aden Duale was the MP. You're going to be having a new MP. And I'm asking my, myself this question this morning. How are we going to vote for leaders? On what basic basis? Because you find last time, and especially the last election, the latest one, 2022, just August, we voted for leaders based on parties. 
based on when in Nepal any pesa we vote for leaders due to how we, they have money looking at how many independent candidates we have right now can tell you that we vote for leaders based on parties if you're having a by election in a, in your area because one thing I understand it's not in the whole country it's it's in some areas where they are leaders got bigger seats in the government the cabinet secretary seats what are you going to be voting for your leaders based on in El Geo Marakwet where the senator Kip Chumba Murkomen took over as a CS lands clan is going to decide who is going to be the next senator in El Geo Marakwet you know clan politics Eleven thirty eight. Kwenye ni chama ya UDA itasoe watu. <laughs> is it clan? You know, this is what you're talking about. Is it about uh, the people there clan? Kwa kina Moses Wetangula, is it UDA? Is it Azimio la Umoja? Because of course, all these candidates have already come out. Washengi pale. And I know the people; they already know what they want. Some want a party. Some want a person. You know, some have decided uh, for El Geo Marakwet, we want a team. Uh -huh. Others have decided in township, they want this one. And you know, now they have come out explaining how they are hustlers. Atio, mimi ni wananijua hapa, mimi sinanga pesa, mimi ni mezaliwa hapa, nateseka sana. Will you vote for someone because this person is a hustler? Talk to me and tell me also about it. And of course, our main topic of the day is has the prices of unga reduced kwenye uko? And gas. Ukienda pale kwa mtu wako wa gas, anakwambia gas ni how much? I'm looking at the comment section. And thank you so much for joining me. Dennis John, hakuna <laughs> place unga imepungua. What is happening? Ama kuna aha ulisikia wapi unga ni prices of unga is not 100 168 and of course yesterday when um the deputy president they were in Moranga county during one of their thanksgiving that they were invited by the women rep of Moranga that is Beiti he said that the prices of essential goods have started going down. And this is talking about gas and unga. And I'm just confirming with you, is it happening? And not forgetting, the president said that we give him a hand, uh, uh, one year. It's no more 100 days, one year. For him to be able to reduce the prices of uh, goods and especially to go back to 100 but for now has anything happened where you buy unga mabado is is it still 230 this is bears radio your number one audio visual radio station and this is the bears baraza show as we get down to the political world what is happening and why is it happening and as we continue having this conversation about uh, where the by-elections will be taking place, and of course you find uh, places like uh -huh, township, people have started coming out with a slogan, oh, Mimi, I'm a hustler, you know, that story that we have heard. And I'm just asking myself, what, what, why will you vote for a leader? And I, and, 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 and all people, people know what they want. They already know who they're going to vote for and why. If you're in one of these areas where the by-election is going to be taking place, because your leader lipata kiti pale ivo as a CS in the current government, talk to me and tell me who you're going to be voting for and why. The reason you're going to be voting for this person. Is it because oh, I'm saying you are chama fulani? Am I because you know this person can con uh, can perform? 
This is a conversation I want to have with you today. Aha, uh -huh. and I'm at the comment section here at Facebook. Kennedy Otieno, good morning to you. Aha, uh -huh. Kennedy Odhiambo from Mombasa. In this area, there is no any change in terms of deduction of price of items like uh, cooking flour and gas. In fact, this government is not keeping its words. Now look, uh, uh, look, it's a month old in the office and still going around the nation telling on 90 to give them time for one year. Does this make sense? Surely you voted for the right candidate. Raila Amolo Odinga. But IBC Supreme uh, Court loved Ruto mostly. Let Kenyans feel the consequences all. Aha, uh -huh, good day and have a fantastic day. And of course, thank you for your comment. And uh, thank you for bringing up the issue of... Uh, Voting for another leader, but the IBC voted for another leader because yesterday, uh, Raila Odinga was in Seme constituency, Kisumu County, and they, he got and he continues to say that he didn't lose the election. The IBC made it plans for him to lose, and uh, former Daragua MP, you know, this is what is interesting. About uh, their, uh, their burial uh, that they had gone to, he said that they are still looking for, they are still committed to ensure that Raila Odinga clinches the top seat in government. We are in a place where uh, after this uh, loss uh, by Raila Odinga who has vied time and again people have even started speaking of kingpins miguna miguna want to be the kingpin of the law but shock on you people because according to ndaragua former ndaragua mp they are still committed to making Raila odinga the next clinch maybe the the next but clinch the top seat let me use his exact words clinch the top seat in government so this is actually telling us that uh he's still here with us today's ampata kwa ballot next time what is happening in western kenya talk to me if you're from there and tell me kama baba will be coming back next time because this is your kingpin and if you get more support Good morning to you, Victor, a.k.a. Omusai. Aha, uh -huh, Omusai is here. I hope you're having a fantastic Monday morning. And of course, it's the end of the month. Naendele aje. Dishon Ngare, good morning to you. Russia and Ukraine. And EU made a deal to allow shipment to gain to grain via Black Sea. Food and cooking oil dropped in prices worldwide. Gashago went on to tell us it is uh, it to tell us it's them working. On Saturday, Ukraine bombed Russia's ship fleet in Black Sea, and Russia striked out the deal from 19th November. Prices will go higher. Thank you so much, Dishon Ngare. That is a very important information. From 19th November. You know, we are complaining right now, but the prices can go up. From 19th November. Right now, we are still at 2.30. And of course, talking from what is actually happening, nothing has changed. If you're telling us it can go up from 230 to what? To 300. 2 kg of unga. Uh -huh. <laughs> Michael Jibril Khalifa. He's saying that gas imepungua stima ikapanda. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for your comment. Michael, where are you at? Kwenye gas imepungua. But uh, Anasema, on the other hand, steamer imepanda. Never gets easy for Kenyans. Never gets easy for us. Sanchez Kenya, 
Aha, uh -huh. hajui of anything that has to do with the prices to go down. Pole sana. We have those expectations that the prices of unga and uh, gas are supposed to be going down. And of course, yesterday, Rigathi Gashagwa, at, uh, the deputy president of Kenya, in Moranga, Maraga constituency, specifically at Karigoine, said that the prices have started going down. And that way, that's why I'm asking you, kwenye uko, umeona kitu imeenda chini? Ama hizi ni story too. Gas ni thao ama 900, 6 kg. Salad, 200. Okay, I didn't understand your question. Uh huh. But, uh, gas, thou, I'm a sick night. Okay, I've been looking at that, but, uh, make sure you, you are responding to Rosalie Peter. Her comment Charles Ruto, Unga at 180. Where is that? Thank you so much. Huko Unga ishanza kuenda chini at 180. Ngila Olive, Vin. Prices are still on top. Nothing has changed. Thank you so much. And of course, Barrett Otorian asema, his own story is a kupaka ngurue mafuta. <laughs> Aha. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> He's very pissed. June. He hasn't seen anything like that happening. And of course, DJ Afro Amingos Jr. Kuna hadi chapoza 10. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. And I'm looking at Sanchez. Uh, anasema kwamba, uh, why do people vote for a particular person twice? Let's be wise. Obvious mtu kipita election for the first time. He or she will work and do his or her best to retain the seat. But when you vote for him again, don't expect anything or any development on the second term. Thank you so much, Sanchez Kenya. This is a very nice discussion you've brought on board. Why do we vote for someone twice? And let's look at the last regime. That is Uhuru Kenyatta. Him being the president of Kenya from 2013 to 2022. His first term was from 2013 to 2017. And anyone would admit with me today that that was the best year. That was the best, that was the best era. Five years good time that Kenyans experienced. Development was happening. Things were happening. Cost of living was fair to the people. We can't say it was low, but it was fair. Because saying is, it's low, it's something else. But saying it's fair, it's something. For the second term, we saw what happened. A government that wasn't united. Prices of hunger and essential Maisha tu ilienda juu. Leave alone unga peke. Maisha yote. Things went up. Chaos after chaos. Not forgetting the issues that used to follow when you're not supposed, you're not uh, uh, supporting uh, the government that was in place. Yako iliku inaisha. Kama uliku umepoka kiti pale sene tama parliament. Amani na kuishia. If you are not supporting that government, if you go on the other side, and this means a root side, because it was the two sides. Ukshetu kasaidi, the government that was there, that is Uhuru's government, when the other side, things started happening. And of course, we have seen a confession from a, a police in the DCIA saying that he was forced by the former, hey, Zambini, former DCI boss to impose charges on the deputy president of Kenya right now, Rigathi Gashagwa. Good morning to you. And I hope you're having a fantastic Monday morning. And of course, it's the end of the month. 
Mwenye nasemanga Kenya hahami, I want to meet that person today. <laughs> Juhe, it's getting tougher. It's getting hard outside here. Leo unasikia oh this has happened uh, when you go on the other side kwa ground vitu ni tofauti. And that's why uh, if you're having a by election in your area, in your constituency or your county, if you are maybe your senator or MP was appointed for the seat of the CS, please talk to me and tell me on what basis are you voting for that leader? Is it party? Are you voting for the person himself or herself? Because you believe this person can do this and that? Because this person has been inter the interest of the people at heart? Because you've seen this person work and do things for maybe that uh, constituency or the county? Or what are your basics? Because El Geo Marraquet, clan politics are going to decide who is going to become the next senator. After Kipchumba Murkomen becoming the CS of transport. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'm going back to the comment section on a scene. Kama beya unga na gas uko imepungua. And of course from some imepungua. Others. <laughs> Jameni ni kungumu. Kennedy Otieno. Anasema kwamba yes, Raila is Kenyan's kingpin. Not only in Luo community, but entire Kenya and outside of Kenya nation. And the likes of Miguna Miguna, Obado Kidero, uh -huh, and the rest that claim to be Luo Kingpin, they are trying to strike fire. With a good conductor of heat material, <laughs> if they are hungry, let them visit Ruto in State House for themselves, but not on behalf, on our behalves. Thank you, Kennedy Otieno. I like what he has spoken about, that uh, Rayla is the kingpin of Kenyans, not Luo. And of course, talking about that, factually, it can be true because 6 million and a number voted for Rayla Odinga. Which means, so of course, uh, the Luo community cannot make up 6 million, no. It's all over Kenya where he got votes. Thank you so much for that. And miguna miguna jameni. Sikia ko itafika tu. And of course, it talks of Obado and Kidero. Huh? Oh, oh, where are people like Babu Owino? What will you say about him? Because uh, he is a good potential, especially for the young people, the youth. Thank you so much, Cosmas Soi Munyao. Good morning, Mombasa. Na wakilisha mta kubwa bamburi. Aha, area code. Beya unga bado yuko juu. Hata atuwezi afford wengine. Thank you so much. Cosmos, soi munyayo. Because this is what is actually happening. Beya unga at 230, it's unaffordable right now. That's why we have to keep pushing as Kenyans. As much as the president of Kenya is requesting for a hundred uh, for a whole year with the rainfall not raining as per now, waiting for a whole year will be impossible. People will die of starvation and hunger. And you know what starvation and hunger for? You know, look at Kitui right now being invaded by pastoralists moving looking for pasture for the animals specifically camels it has come to an extent people are being killed because people are looking for pastures for the animal that is the extent of hunger and starvation people go to another extent in the name of food that's how bad it is. And I hope our president and Angalia, the common Mwananchi, and of course, it's a hustler nation. One that better understands the common Mwananchi na Kenya na pitia na mashida kwa ground. Talk to me and tell me. 
it's 11.46 and of course time is not on our side. But I'm loving this conversation. The moment it comes to a place where mtu haizi afford kununua unga, more cases of insecurity will increase. Because it results to theft. You have to go look for something to eat. Wezi kwa nyumba ukufe. So we have to solve our food issues. And solving our food issues, as much as the government itajituma, pia sisi Kenyans lazima tujitume. Hawezi ingia kwa shamba ya mtu, wachilie ngombe waende wakule, ama camels go eat. And this person is working hard, aeze kutua something out of that land. It's going to be impossible. But I like the take that the senators have done in Kitui. They have gone ahead and asked the interior uh, ministry to find solutions in Kitui. Because there's no way they can just sit down and watch people die. Today it's three people. Tomorrow they might be ten. The next time, fight after fight. 11.58. And I'm getting a comment from Kevian Skiv. Anasema, IT Bay Gani Meshuka. <laughs> Na jana mwenye wa mekuwa kanisa, kasema kuwa katika kitabu cha Matthew. Hata ni mesahao chapter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eti geizeri mpeni. Then mungu mpe yangu. Yani tulipe tax. A.K.A. K.R.A. Ni eti aftafadhali imagine. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Ameona achane na mche, achane na ugali. Akule tu mchele. Ameamua kuachia ugali yako there. <laughs> Good morning to you, Kavian Skev. And of course he spoke about the KRA issue. What will lipe tax? And I like what he says, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And give to God what belongs to him, which means People will pay taxes and still have something to give to God. That is quoted from the book of Matthew. And of course, you know, our president is a very good person in quoting the Bible. <laughs> and, uh, and the issue of KRA, baby, it's nice paying taxes. We have to pay taxes. If you have to see development, we have to see things happening, we have to pay taxes. But who is paying these taxes? Come on, upon share 5,000. Ukilipa tax tutabakia na nini? Na unalipa school fees? Good morning to you. It's 11.59. And I'll beg to take a leave for now. But I will be back tomorrow. And you're going to continue having this conversation. Because we can't wait for a near for the prices of unga and uh, the cost of living to go down. Manze things have to happen fast. Things have to happen as fast as possible. Jua Kenya tunaumia. Thank you so much for all those who have joined me. Good morning to you. And of course, today I won't be able to do a shout out. And of course, it's 12. This is the Bayes Radio, your number one audio visual radio station. And of course, to listen to us, download our app, Bayes Radio, from your Google Play Store or Apple Store. In Akwangaya Red, for the record. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we are always live on our Facebook pages. That is the base uh -huh, radio, the smart joker, and Fuse Kenya. Tomorrow, the same time, same place, from 10 to 12, join me where you are, Kemathi. And of course, from 11 to 12, I'm going to be here live on Facebook as we have conversations and we seek things to happen. Because here we found that we, we always want to see what is happening. Why is it what? Why is it happening? And what can we do about it? 12. And of course, wana sporty watakuwa na ingia. Kidogo na I don't know what was happening over the weekend in the sports world. Hawapendi kuwana ni kichelewa. I hope you have a fantastic Monday morning. And of course, tomorrow we'll be talking of a new month. My name is Oyuwa Kimathi. Salute.